Hey everyone, happy Monday. Rick here with Hit and Run Candlesticks. First, I want to say a great big thank you for watching our video. I appreciate it very much. Remember to subscribe, click the bell if you'd like to be notified when we put new um, uh, videos out there. Also, um, just, bef just below the video, you'll see a green uh, checkbox. If you click on that, or the link to the right of it anyway, uh, it'll take you to a page on our website, Hit Run Candlesticks. We have tons of free ideas, uh, free ebooks. Sorry about that. Uh, free ebooks, and we're going to be posting more on there uh, this week and down the road. Um, also, uh, today at 11:45 Eastern. Today is April 11th, 2022, a Monday. Um, we're doing a live webinar. And the topic will be on the blue ice failure uh, setup weekly and uh, some daily stuff as well. If you click on that little link that I mentioned, that green checkbox, it'll take you to that that page has a lot of free stuff. There's a link right there to log into um, the webinar today, and it's absolutely free. So, uh, 11:45 Eastern. If you care to join in, please do. All right. Here just a second, we're going to talk about the market and some charts. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, April 11, 2022. Glad to have you all here. Appreciate it very, very much. All right, so um, let's take a look here uh, at the market uh, real quick. Oh, before I get started, I want to remind everybody uh, today at 11.45, uh, Eastern in the LTA room. Um, we'll post a link here uh, in the rooms in just a bit, or maybe Ed, if Ed's listening, he can post a, room, a link. We're going to be talking about blue ice failure weekly, daily, uh, how to set it up, uh, maybe what to look for, and um, I'll give you all the particulars in case you, you know, not necessarily using uh, LTA, although that is the easy button. But that's all right, 11.45 Eastern. Um, if you're interested, please join in, okay? Thank you. Uh, what else? Was there anything else? Nope, we're good. We're good, okay. So um, the market here, we're, to me, I, I think we're kind of between this little bit of a rock and a hard place right now. Uh, lots of things out there going on that's not necessarily good for the overall market. Bulls don't seem to be letting go. We are under the trend or under my trend indicator, so it's very hard for me to be overly bullish. Price is also under the T line. It just doesn't make sense to be bullish for me. Um, I want to see things trending up, so I'm gonna have to look for some shorts, and I've got some shorts we'll talk about here. Uh, some of those uh, blue ice failures that's looking good on the weekly chart that would make. You know, a good blue ice failure on the weekly chart and maybe look for a daily uh, bearish three-eighths trap. Hmm, might be a great combo. Might be a great combo. All right, so um, while the bears are underneath the 200, uh, price is below the 200. Uh, price is below the T-line here. I guess I have an arrow, don't I? There we go. Price below the T-line, price below the 200. Uh, we're also above the 50 so that that's the rock and hard place that i have right now um we're above the 50 period moving average we move below the 50 period moving average now nah, i'm not going to have a hard place anymore um handwriting's on the wall it just it, it would just put a check mark in all the boxes uh that says be bearish is what it would do uh diamonds the i the i a there we go the i a uh, diamonds, they're in the same predicament. Uh, price is under the T-line, price is under the 200, but we're above that 50-period moving average. You know, if we were to take all the bad junk that's going on, you know, inflation, recession possibilities, all, all that stuff. If you take that away and you look at the chart here, the truth is we've broken out. We've rallied up and pulled back. What a nice bullish type of chart pattern but it's only bullish if it actually follows through we can wish and want all we want 
uh, it needs to follow through. So uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, very, very, um, very interesting spot that we're in right now. Interesting in the uh, in the um, in the sense that there's going to be traders that are bullish for really they really don't know why uh, they're bearish because they really don't know why um, and just maybe because you want to trade this might not be that best place to do that um, ultimately um, the 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 where the money is going to be made is if the bulls actually break us out or actually break us down below that 50 period moving average. That's where I think uh, some money will be made. Right here, ah, just a lot of sharks in there, so be careful. Qs, um, Qs are actually worse off. Qs are underneath the 50 period moving average, so this is a no brainer. Uh, absolutely no reason to try to be uh, long based on this chart. Uh, price below the T-line, price below the 200s, price below the 50 period moving average, price price trending down. How bleak do I have to paint this picture? Uh, price underneath the trendicator. However, we all know that for any reason, the bulls could pop us back up, and if they do, we'll take appropriate action. But right now, the action should be with the trend. All right, let's take a look at wheat, W-E-A-T. Wheat is looking pretty good here for a long chart. Um, we popped up, moving sideways, just a simple consolidation right now. Uh, we've got uh, a low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low. It really kind of looks like through this area right here, the bulls are, are trying to... Um, get a plan going. Thanks Ed, for posting that link there. Uh, to me, it looks like the the uh, bulls are really trying to um, put a plan together here. So yesterday, Friday, we ended up with a uh, nice little bullish candle, um, actually a bullish flag up. There's your flag. We had the breakout. And I think this is a great way for today to begin up here just to uh, not quite an inside day right here at the top uh, makes this area right through here uh, as a possible entry area. Um, I'm going to skip over some of these. One, I'm never going to get to them. Of course, you know you can get them at the Hit Run Candlesticks blog. I do want to jump into maybe looking at some shorts though. Here's STX on the daily chart. Uh, you can see how we're down. We rolled up, failed the 200 period moving average. You can see the red dots on the trendicator and we're still rolling down. If you look at the weekly chart, here's your blue ice failure. And if you're looking at the weekly chart and you like using moving averages like I do, then you can see the possibilities here. Now, just because I like to use moving averages doesn't mean that I don't use price action as well. So, as I look at this chart here, I'm seeing the dotted deuce. I see the 200 period moving average. I see that price action right here that stopped at the 50 period moving average. And I see this area right through here. That's what's giving us our 7850 area for a possible target. So now the ideal thing for me anyway, is maybe look for that daily entry uh, for this uh, for a long. Um, I, yeah, I kind of want to stay with the shorts. We'll look at them more, but I want to look at target too. Target's looking like a long chart. Now, <clears throat> here's, uh, targets above. That doesn't mean this is a buy right now. I, I, I get these, these emails, comments <clears throat> from people, you know, we look at a watch list on Monday. And if it doesn't work out Monday, it's like the world has come to an end and, you know, their day is ruined. Somebody has put salt under their tongue and they just have a kind of a sour mouth all of a sudden. You know, that, that's not what trading is. Uh, tra trading is you, you look for a chart where you can see the possibilities of moving up, probabilities of moving up. I see the probabilities of this moving up. Here we've broken out. I like that. We're above 
Uh, the dotted deuce area, this is the 200 symbol right in there. That doesn't scare me, it doesn't frighten me. So now I'm going to take this low and this high and this higher low and this higher high. I'm going to look at that as total opportunity and we're going to wait for that entry. We're going to patiently wait for that entry. That's the key. Patiently wait. And then when the time comes, we're going to hop aboard and then we'll trade out accordingly. If the time doesn't come, we're not going to get aboard that train. We only want to be aboard trains that have that potential. Um, uh, Nike, I've got Nike up here as a short. Here we've rallied up, hit the 50, we're pulling back. You can see the consolidation right here, possible targets down below. Here's that weekly chart. Just to, uh, I want to go back a little bit. Since the topic today in the uh, live webinar is going to be the blue ice failure, <clears throat> I want to point out how we've come down right through there is a blue ice failure. And you see where we've come down here, we've rallied up, we've got a, a lower high end, and now it looks to me like we're still moving down. Uh, another one, I know it's there. Oh, there it is. AMD. Look at AMD. Look at the weekly on AMD. Look at that blue ice failure right here. Possible targets to the downside. There's the 200 period moving average. I'm sorry, dotted deuce. There's the 200 period moving average. Um, right here also lines up pretty well with this price action. So now what I want to look for is an entry uh, on that um, daily chart. So I'm going to watch for, you know, the candle pattern, maybe a 3 h trap, a follow through to the downside, that sort of thing. AMT is another one. Let's start with the weekly. Look at that blue eyes failure here. Perfect. Right in here. Perfect. Here we're moving down. A couple of targets to the downside. There's the dotted deuce. Here's the 200 period moving average. And now... Let's take that daily chart for an entry. Now, I say let's take that daily far chart for an entry. Not everybody does that. Um, some people trade just right off the weekly chart. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you, you know, if it's what you do, it's your uh, trade rules there. It's absolutely what you do. Um, Disney. Some people might even look at an intraday chart. Nothing wrong with that. Here's that um, weekly chart here. While this is not a blue ice failure, we can call it a red ice field, field failure. You know, blue ice failure, um, if you boil it down to something pretty simple, it's just failure off of a major moving average. That's all it is right there. That's all it is right there. Uh, the 50 is definitely a major moving average, as well as the 200 period moving average. That's also a major moving average, and we're getting that failure then. Um, as far as a target goes, I think we can come over here to some price action. There may be one here, and there may be one here, and of course, down below. So this might be a candidate where, in my case, take a look at that um, uh, daily chart. Sorry, I couldn't get it out. And maybe take a look at that 3h trap and here we are there here's the green line that sets us up in the 3h trap uh short right here with the possibilities of those targets we looked at below um doo -doo 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 -doo. how about roku look at roku here's the daily chart uh you can see we're right <clears throat> excuse me Right at the 3H trap, the low end of it, uh, we would call this a 3H trap breakdown, uh, a breakout, you know, below that three. You can see that the 50 period moving average failure here. But let's take a look at that weekly. Look at that weekly chart. Now I want to go back on this, which has really nothing to do with today. I just want to point out, there's the blue ice failure right there. And you can see how... If just following the T-line, this, this was a great T-line run to the downside. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, wish they all worked this way. 
And if you look at it, there's just, you know, what here suggests we're ready to bounce to the upside? Not much. So Trindicator's still red. I think still short. And here's some targets to that downside there. All right. Let's call out a day. I'll get this. Uh, I'll post it up. Hey, again, I want to thank everybody for being here and today at 1145 Eastern. Uh, hope to see everyone over in the uh, that uh, the other room. And you can get the link. Uh, Ed posted it here in the room. You can also click on that little green box you know, to the link to this to the right of it. Just below. Uh, I'm going to put this in a video. So it's just below the video. Uh, click on that, and then there's, you can log in from that page. Uh, you'll see where it is. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it so very much. We'll see you back here uh, when the market starts to open up. All right? You guys take care.